Hi guys, welcome. Uh, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel, Lila Web Dev. So now, we in this video we will try to learn how the pointers will be used in the function calls. So let's try to see. So C supports normally the primarily two ways to call the functions. One is call by value, which is by default, and another one is call by reference. So these are the two ways how we can call the function. So first, let's try to see about the call by value. So what is this call by value? So if you try to see the definition for this one, in call by value, the actual arguments value is copied into the formal parameter of the called function. Any changes made to the formal parameter inside the function do not affect the original value. So this is the definition of this one. So that means in the call by value, when you pass the values as an argument. those values will be copied into a separate variable so that means in the function to the arguments if you make any changes it will not affect the original value that has been passed to the function so this is called as a call by value i will try to show you an example explaining demonstrating about this one so that you will be able to understand very clearly so here if you try to observe carefully so we are having a function that is nothing but swap swap v that means swapping the variable with using call by value so it takes two arguments int x and int y so here we are having a main variable okay so swap v passes the values a and b to the x and y so here we are having a a is equal to 10 and also b is equal to 20 now i want to swap the variables a is equal to 20 b is equal to 10 something like that so if you try to swap, send the values a is a comma b so here you are taking one temporary variable And I am uh, I am assigning the value x to temporary x is equal to y y is equal to I am trying to print the value. So here x and y at the starting it will be ten and twenty, and the start at the end it will be something like twenty and ten. But if you try to print the values of a and b which is in the main function, so still it will be a is equal to ten and b is equal to twenty. Why? Because so these are all the temporary variables swap variables which has been called by value. So that means the values will be copied into the x and y. so that the x variable and the a variable is completely different to each other so it has two has a different different memory location for this one so inside swap e x and y are swapped but it has no effect on the a and b in the main function so there is a thing the original values of a and b remain unchanged because only copies are swapped <clears throat> now if you try to see here x is equal to 20 y is equal to 10 so that means these are swapped But a remains the same. By a is equal to ten and b is equal to twenty. So this is called as a call by value. So I will try to tell you about the call by reference. What is this call by reference? So this is also one important concept which you need to learn. So call by reference. Reference. In call by reference, the address of the actual arguments are passed to the function. So here we are not passing the value. We are passing the address of the actual arguments. then whatever the value present in the address if you change it means automatically the value will be changed in the original data also this allows the function to directly manipulate the original variables so this is the thing so i will try to show you an example for this call by reference so if i try to paste it here so now we are having a swap or so that means the same variable the same concept we are trying to swap it through the reference so here we are having a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 instead of passing the values as an arguments to the function this time we are changing we are passing the memory address location to the swapper now here we are catching it with a pointer variable okay here it is we are passing the address of a variable that is nothing but a a address value and b address value we are passing it so now we are here the arguments are a pointer variables why because we are sending the address so in order to manipulate the address value so we need to have a pointer variable so now the pointer so here we are swapping the address value to into this one and we are swapping the address value into here and we are doing it like this okay so now if you try to run this command so if you try to see automatically the a value and also the b value as also has been changed so this is how you will be so here star x means it will give you the value inside the Uh, x value so what is the value we are having inside this star x that is nothing but address value of a so that's that's why we are showing temporary variable and we are uh, sending that value into this one and we are sending into this one so the address value has been swapped so whenever you are trying to change the values for this one so automatically those values also will be changed so that is the reason so which you are trying to see it here 
so now what i would be trying to tell you is the another one is so here um, so here uh, so sorry i made, made some mistakes so here swap r ampersand a ampersand b passes the address of a and b to x and y using star x and star y the function directly access and swaps the values of a and b so here star x means it will give you the value that is present in the a so automatically it will be swapped so fine the original values in a and b are successfully swapped now the next one which i want to tell you is utility of call by reference a function can only return one value using the return statement so this one you are people already have idea about this one a function can return only one value using call by reference we can modify multiple variables in a single function call so this is benefit of using the pointers so you can mo modify the multiple variables so here so we have modified the two variables in a single function call instead of returning we have modified it so calculating the area and perimeter of a circle i will try to show you the example for this one so here i will paste it here sorry so this is our simple thing so it will it is it is trying to calculate both area and perim perimeter of a circle so we know the area and perimeter of a circle pi r square and 2 pi r <coughs> these these things you already know so area and perimeter so here we are passing uh, we are passing the radius that is nothing but call by value and here we are uh, passing the address of the area and a perimeter so here we are having two three variables into radius so we need to know the radius of a circle in order to calculate the area and perimeter and here we are having a variables area and parameter which cal which stores the value of area and also value of parameter so now we are asking the user to enter the radius of a circle so we are catching that we are storing that value in the address memory location of the radius and here we are calling the area and parameter so we are sending just the value of the radius and we are sending the memory location of the area and also the perimeter so now here we are catching it with this our normal variable so these are two are pointer variables so now here i am taking the star a so that means that is nothing but the value of here so 3.4 into r into r so directly the value will be stored in the a variable why because a holds the address memory location of this one and star p means 2 into 3.4 into 3 so it refers to the perimeter variable automatically the value will be stored in the perimeter variable now if you try to check the output it will ask you the radius of a circle if i press enter 6 so it will give you the area and parameter here directly i am using the area and parameter automatically the values are modified by this function why because these are passed through the reference so the radius is passed by value while area and parameter are passed by reference the function calculates the value and updates the area and parameter using their addresses so that is the main thing so key differences between call by value versus call by reference so arguments pass call by value is value of the variable whereas in the call by reference we will pass the address of the variable so changes apply to the original variable no in the call by value s in the call by reference so when the original values should remain unchanged means then we need to pass the values as call by value when the original value needs to be updated means then we need to pass it by a call by reference so this is all about the call by value and also call by reference in the functions so now key points of pointers in the c so you need to understand the key points so here pointers play a significant role in many applications here is a summary of this uses first one is returning multiple values so i have already shown you returning the multiple values that is nothing but calculating the area and the perimeter of a triangle call by reference allow functions to modify uh, multiple variables so that one i have shown you area and parameter how we can calculate area and array and string manipulation pointers provide efficient access to array and string elements which we will try to learn it in our upcoming videos so this one also pointers will be very much useful avoid avoiding the memory waste passing large objects like arrays or structures by value create unnecessary copies passing by reference saves the memory so that is also one thing so dynamic memory allocation pointers are essential for allowing memory during runtime using functions like malloc or calloc so these pointers are essential for allocating the memory during runtime using functions like malloc and calloc we will try to learn about this one also so implementing the data structure advanced data structures like stacks queues trees and graphs rely on pointers for linking the elements callback mechanism function pointers enable callbacks where one function calls another via pointer function pointers enable callbacks where one function calls another via pointer accessing hardware in embedded systems in embedded systems specific memory locations store sensor data like pressure or temperature which can be accessed using pointers only so these are all the different uses on the uh, use of pointers in the c language 
So in conclusion, what I want to tell, what I want to tell is use call by value to protect the original values. Use call by reference when you need to modify or return the multiple values. Pointers are powerful tools for efficient memory usage, dynamic programming, and advanced data structures. Hope you understood about this function call by reference and call by value in the functions. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.